Warning, every second is automatically saved. All actions and decisions are permanent. Extreme care and patience is advised. Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome to a game simply known as Liquidators, taking place back in the Soviet Union in 1986. The Chernobyl nuclear power facility suffered a horrific and catastrophic meltdown and explosion which threatened the lives of everyone in mainland Europe and perhaps the entire planet. Now, underneath that power plant, just after the explosion, there were some discoveries that some water was stored in some tanks underneath the power plant and that if that hyperheated radioactive lava reached that area or if a fire reached that area, it would explode like a nuclear bomb mixed with water would irradiate pretty much everything around Europe and the power plant itself. Three men went underneath the power plant to save the day, and we'll be playing as those heroes today. So welcome, everybody. This game is uh, free, by the way, on Steam. It's a little bit of a technical demo, and actually is in the style of PlayStation 1, so it'll kind of be hard to see and things will be foggy and whatnot, but it kind of really makes you feel as if you were, uh, instead of a person, more of like a robot from 1986, you know, like with a camera on it, like what they show in the uh, Chernobyl series on HBO, which I highly recommend, by the way. There's instructions here uh, for the different characters that we'll be playing as, Flashlight, Walk, Run, etc. Uh, we'll need to go in and, well, it'll go over our mission here in just a moment. So if you guys want to see more of this game, you know what to do. Smash like for those heroes of Chernobyl who uh, are no longer with us for most of them and some who've managed to survive, such as these three. I believe uh, all of them are still alive, or at least they were. Uh, after the disaster, it did not affect them, so absolute heroes, and uh, welcome again everybody to the channel. It's good to see you all here. Let's start our mission and see how far we can get in this test of liquidators. Here we go. There has been a nuclear accident in the Soviet Union, and the Soviets have admitted that it happened. The Soviet version is this. One of the atomic reactors at the Chernobyl atomic power plant near the city of Kiev was damaged, and there is speculation in Moscow that people were injured and may have died. The Soviets may have been fairly quick to acknowledge the accident because evidence in the form of mild nuclear radiation had already reached beyond the Soviet borders to Scandinavia. Radio transmission Radio connected. Connected and working. Oh, there's actually voice acting. You've been chosen because of your expertise in locating valve systems and reaching those water tanks are our last hope in containing this disaster. If you don't drain those water tanks, a steam explosion will create a radioactive fallout that will render Europe uninhabitable. It is a perilous journey to those valves, and if anything happens to you, we will guarantee your families are taken care of in your stead. Your country and I thank you for your selfless service. It's up to you three now. Wow. Okay. Uh, skip. Main objective. Find the correct valves to drain the water tanks. There should be a total of six valves, four in the main floor and two in the bottom floor within the water tank room. The bottom floor is sealed from heavy pressure until four valves in the main floor are turned. All right, so we have three volunteers, Alexei, Boris, and Valeri. Each have different abilities, electrician, endurance, and crawling. Radiation tolerance is 100 for Valeri and Alexei, and 120 for Boris. One is an electrician, and the other one probably works on vents, and the other one's probably just a general maintenance dude who might be good for carrying things, possibly if these two uh, are wiped out or whatnot or, or go unconscious, we can get them back to HQ. Let's go for the... Let's go with the Valeri first, since he can sneak into small spots. The plant might not be working fully, so we'll see if this works. Uh, with years of experience of maintaining the vents and ducts, he can comfortably squeeze in and use them for some safer routes. Okay. One committed liquidator at a time to lower risk and maximize efficiency. All right, confirm. Wow, here we are. Certainly looks like a PlayStation 1 game to me, or more like a game from, uh, like, 1995 or something for PC. We are now inside the Chernobyl power facility. Let's go into the basement, boys, and see what waits for us down there. We're going to have to turn on all those valves. Ah, I'm assuming this is where the electrician can interact with things to turn on the lights. But this is what we're looking for, these vents here. And we should be able to crawl into to go on safer routes. But it looks like that just leads back here. So it's an area to kind of teach you how things work. All right, beyond this door is the bowels of the Chernobyl nuclear facility. Radiation and such is going to be waiting for us. It's going to be beautiful. Or scary. Definitely not a horror game, but I'm already afraid to hit this button. Let's do it. 
Well, there's one of the valves already. That's good to find. A computer to come back to. Storage area. Ah, there's some health kits over there. As well as what looks to be maybe... What is that? More flashlights or something for us? Ah, this is a hub area. Okay, so this leads to other areas of the power plant, including up. Which we might be able to climb. Oh yeah, it looks like we can. We'll come back here later. Alright, let's turn that valve and see what happens. Here we go. Ah, beautiful. Alright, so one of four has now been activated. Excellent. Alright, we have high radiation in here. I guess Google's corporate logo is in here for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, wait! That's one of the scouts. And there's radiation, lava. Radioactive lava from all the uh, melted facility coming down on top of us. That's insanity. Alright, so all of that melted goo from the reactor is seeping through and other fires and such. And it actually crushed one of the scouts. Oh, there's no way we can go that way. Nope. We're not going to get through there. Alright, we better find another way around. Where else could we go? Oh, this seems fine. Okay, we'll just go down the uh, hallway of death. That'll be fine instead. Wow, look at all the wiring and stuff. Father? Well, this doesn't seem like a good idea to turn on an electric generator that's sitting in water. I don't know what else to do, though. Looks like there's a fuse box over there, but I'm assuming we have to get to that door at the end of the hallway and do it in the dark. We need the electrician to do that, but I don't know how to change characters. I don't even know if you can unless they go unconscious. So let's get ready to go on a run, shall we? Uh, let's see. Wait a minute, I see a... Is that a vent over there? Hold on, there's a vent there. Alright, let's go. Oh, yep, it's a trap. The door closed behind us. And now the room is flooding with water. But there's a vent. I, I knew it! Go, 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 go. Crawl, 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 crawl. There we go. Stand. Go, baby, go, 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 go. Oh boy, the water's rising. Go, man, go! Hey, a valve. There we go. That's what we're looking for. What does this do? Oh, that must open the door on the other side, but I can't use it. Alright, let's flip that switch here. Open that valve. Spin that wheel. Alright. We bought some time. Okay, well, I guess we gotta go through here. Wow. Spooky AF. It's only gonna get worse from here. Let's watch out for, oh yep, like that, radiation. Oh great, there's radioactive water leaking everywhere. And that door is definitely sealed. Oof. This barrel here has been swallowed alive. Nope, don't go near it, don't go near it. Okay. Alright, we're good. Okay. Wow, look at all the pipes and wiring and stuff on the hall. That's crazy. That looks so cool. I like the uh, low quality, by the way. It really makes it seem more like a horror game. It definitely is like a unique type of horror game, like real-life horror. <laughs> Radiation and like a radioactive power plant meltdown. Yeah, sounds pretty scary, doesn't it? Alright, we've got options here. We can go... Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a health kit here. Okay, that's good. Well, there's many ways to go. Oh, there's a vent here. Oh, that's a... Vent cover. Is there a vent nearby? Oh, it looks like there's a few different places to go. Let's get our bearings and find out where we're looking at. If we go down... There's another flashlight. Oh, wait, what does this do? Ah. This leads back to the hub, doesn't it? 
Yes, it does. Okay. That's what those are for. So that one in the ceiling will probably only open when we hit a button. So now that we've gotten this far, we found our way back now to the hub world. So I should be able to change characters, right? I'm not sure. I think we go back to one of the computers, but I don't know if we can do that yet. Although one viable tactic would be to wait for our character to pass out and then go rescue him and get an another character up. What's down here? Uh-oh. There's a valve at the end of the hallway. Oh, the radiation is getting medium. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, my... The light bulb on my flashlight broke. Oh, so much for that. Oh, boy, did you... Whoa, we're getting an error. Uh-oh. There's incredibly high radiation over there. Did you see that? It's like a radioactive lava blob on fire. Get a look at it. Look. Oh, boy, that doesn't look good. We have to go this way, I'm assuming. We can't run straight at it. Oh, great. There it is again. Oh! That's horrible. Okay. We gotta get to the back of the room, though. There's a vent. Nice. I don't have a flashlight anymore, so that's great. Oh, well, I wonder if we can sneak past this. What the hell? I'm just gonna run for it. There we go. Okay. We're sneaking through a vent right now, I think. Hopefully the valve is back here. looking for. It's like a maze to get through here. There's the valve flashing there. That's death if we go through there. Uh, I think we should go left. Alright, if we stick near the walls we can actually see. It's a dead end. Uh, this, does this lead back out again? Damn, I think it does. Okay. Let's go right this time, then. I wanted to stay away from the radiac <laughs> radiation and certain death. Okay. Yeah, that's why I wanted to go this way. Okay, let's go up top. It's like a little maze. Alright, let's make a run for it, maybe? I think we should go this way. I see the valve there, but that's going to lead us into the open hallway where the nuclear blob is. Oop. We can actually look at it here. We got to get down there. Alright, maybe we'll go this way. Is there not a way in there? Well, maybe we can go behind us. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, we can go this way. But is it safe? Oh, we did it! Might make it out alive. Thank you. This is just too dangerous. I feel like our boy's gonna collapse any second. Oh, this is safe. Oh, a door. Oh, it's the one at the end of the hallway. Beautiful. We can go back to where we came. Okay. 
Well, we've got two of them done. Actually, three of them done. Oh, I need this now. New flashlight. Okay. Let's see if we can get a health kit. We're also highly radiated. Oh, this is probably above the, the hub world. Let's see. Yeah, back to start, baby. All right, we got one more. We must have to go through here. But it just seems like the wrong way to go. Okay, well, we're going to give it a try. I have nowhere else to go, so let's give this room a try. We've looked at every hallway and every stairwell and all the catwalk length. Although I will admit I'm a little afraid to check out room three anymore. Oh, boy. All right, let's go. Well, this is the right way. You've got to be kidding me. We should have chose the other guy. What the hell? Oh, boy. There it is. Oh, great. I'm standing next to one. Oh, boy. Well, the electrician would have been nice here. I don't... can't see. Oh boy. Is that radiation in front of me? Damn it. Flashlight blew out, now I can't find my way to the valve. It's there though. I need another flashlight. Oh boy. Well, I'd like to go back as one of the other characters, but we can't switch, so let's do this. I'll take the guy with the high endurance. I guess we're just gonna have to black out here in order to switch characters. So I'm gonna do it on purpose. I'm going to stand next to something over here. Just to get a different character. Alright, let's stand here on purpose. Well, it's not doing much. There we go. Okay. Right, so when we go back to the computer, we're not able to actually change characters. So let's go on a rescue mission. Okay, so let's continue. Okay. Now we'll go pick up our other guy. He's okay. Just on a little rescue mission. Okay, we're alright, we're alright. Okay, so now we were able to change characters. That might be a glitch or something. But we're okay. There should be a way to change characters for obvious reasons. Let's revive this guy. Alright, he'll be alright. Fine, he's got the best care in the world. Soviet Healthcare. Great metal band name. Alright, let's do this again, boys. I didn't think we could get through here. It's literally radioactive lava. Who would even think to come in this room? Thanks, Chief. All right, the valve is at the back of this room. I can see it flashing. We gotta memorize the room before it blows. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Doesn't look like there's any way around on the right side. Is that, a, 
It's a maze. We're just gonna have to go for it. Oh, come on, man. We were right there. <sighs> man. All right, we got to do another one of our friends. Yeah, he had the higher tolerance, too. All right, Valeri's back, but we're going to need to get a health kit for him. Maybe the electrician could be useful here. If we can turn on the lights in that room, it'll make all the difference. Our way through. Okay. No electrical boxes at all. Yeah, I don't see any fuse boxes. This light's gonna blow in a second, then we're gonna find our way through. I think we want to go here. Holy crap, his blinking light actually helps. Oh, we made it. Job. Praise Google. Holy crap, that's what this door opened. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> we got him, boys. He's coming out. We're not leaving any men behind. It's kind of weird when I looked at his blinking light, I was thinking to myself, like, what did I touch? I must I must have got close and touched something. Okay, flashlight's broken again, but at least we can get all the men out, damn it. There's risk coming into a melting down nuclear power plant. That's just the way it is, I guess. Okay, let's get him back to safety. Where's the, uh... Revive computer. Alright, there we go. Okay, let's get you revived. Go. Whew. Okay. Yeah, see notice we can't change characters? I don't I don't know why. Wish we could. I I don't know why it does that. But whatever. Alright, let's grab another flashlight. Or we'll grab some borscht. There we go. Alright, final area. Hopefully there's more flashlights. That's it, boys. Two more to go at the end of the hallway. Wow. Do we go down there? I guess so. Oh. Uh, we might need the electrician to open this door. Wait, aren't we the electrician? Oh yeah, we are the electrician, damn it. I don't know what that opens. Is that fire? Oh, great. That's fine. Okay, this is fine. Interestingly enough, I'm more afraid of all the lights than anything else. Wow. Okay, let's go upstairs. Health kits. And a flashlight. Alright. That's good to know. Okay, oh, there's a door. But we can't go through here, okay. So let's go back down to the hub area. So this is hub number two, I guess. It doesn't look like there's any other way out of here. I can't squeeze in between. Okay, so let's go back downstairs then. There's a little walk there. Okay. Let's go back down. Into the belly of the beast. Can't open doors. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh boy. The music's getting worse. What the hell is that? What the hell is this? Look at how huge that door is. It's literally got railroad tracks. You've got to be kidding me. Boy, well, we're going to be coming back here. Is this to flush water? This looks like it's designed to hold water. Yep, there it is. Oh boy. Well, there's one of the valves. I guess the goal is to not drown by walking on the pipes. Luckily we're an electrician, so let's walk over to the power box. Oh, this is fine. Yep, no, this is totally just fine. All right, well, so much for the power box. <laughs> oh, damn it, we're not Valeri. We can't go through the vent. Oh, it's lowering the water. Yes! This is all the water that... If comes in contact with the nuclear material, the whole world is dead. All right. Well, let's go to that electrical box again. Is this it? Yes. Well, I'll turn on some lights, I guess, but whatever. Wait, is it doing anything? I don't know what it's doing, whatever. Um, we gotta go up, I guess. Or down, no, down, down, down. We gotta find a way down there. Oh, I see the other valve. Flashing underwater. find a way down there. We don't want to touch the water, though. Can I draw? Oh, here we go. Ah, right there. Are we going to be able to make that drop? Oh, shit. Okay. We're good. We're good. This is fine. Oh, not good. Not fine, not good. Okay, alright, we're good. Alright, let's do it again. I think we got this, boys. Damn it, these pipes keep falling. Okay, we gotta find a different way then. Oh boy. We can go this way. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, the world saved. You did it, you crazy son of a bitch. You actually did it. Yay! Come out now. Come out now. Okay, I'm coming back. Okay, we gotta go back to base. We did it. Okay, we're on our way back then. So the other men, bruised and battered in a nuclear disaster, but are still okay. Where does this go? What the hell is this? Oh, an elevator! Okay, that's easy. Alright, I guess it paid to be the electrician. Although, I think he can interact with only the fuse boxes. But whatever. Oh, that's the door I saw where we couldn't hit the button. Alright, we're almost home. We're leaving, boys! 
Chernobyl is saved. Oh, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, the liquidators. Mission success. Kind of weird you can't change characters mid-game, but whatever. Uh, social distance if you're going to wear the masks. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Liquidators available for free on Steam. 10 out of 10. That deserves a like, boys. What an interesting and cool little game. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.